congratulations to all of you who are Teachers of the Year. This is quite an honor for me, and I'm very grateful to be here. Um, and I thought I would take a couple of minutes just to tell you that um, infant program is, is interesting in that our classroom is most unique. It is the home of the families that we work with. So I don't have and I don't live in the world that many of you do where you have a classroom and, and uh, you do laminating at night. <laughs> we laminate differently. <laughs> um, the babies enrolled in infant program are those babies that have special needs. They may have a diagnosis of autism. They may have Down syndrome. Uh, they may have cerebral palsy. They may have no diagnosis at all. Um, but we work with the babies that are birth to three, and we get to work with them in their home with their families. And it, you know, the families end up being a, a, a mix of parents, could be grandparents, could be aunts, uncles, foster parents. Um, and the families that we meet are diverse in their living conditions, in their education, their home language, their culture, but they're all united in one thing. They want the very best for their children. These families welcome us into their homes as we pair with them to discover new and wonderful ways of being with their babies with special needs. The families I work with uh, deal with many feelings that come with a new diagnosis. Could be fear, sadness, worry, and the drive to learn and do whatever it takes to help their child be the best that they can be. We work as partners with our families to support these feelings and their learning and their ability to support their children in all areas of daily life, such as play, bathing, meal times, going to the store, going to root for an older sibling in a baseball game. All those things that make life rich and wonderful. We talk about the routines, the things that happen on a daily basis. And those are our lessons, if you will. Those are the times where we can start picking away what happens in those activities, what the parent or the caregiver is doing, what the child is doing, and those little tweaks that we can do to help the parents make just a small change that will help this child grow. Um, through the discussions of, of these activities, we provide strategies the parents can apply or the caregivers can apply. They start to feel that these are automatic, and it becomes easier for them. That's our intention, anyway. I work with an amazing team of professionals, early childhood special educators, occupational therapists, a couple of whom are there here, uh, physical therapists, infant educators, teachers for kids that are deaf or hard of hearing, and teachers for kiddos that have vision issues, nurses. We have inta wonderful intake staff, wonderful office staff, social worker, a wonderful director. And one of the most humbling aspects of being here amongst all of you is the knowledge that I'm only here as part of a team. I could not do this work nor would I have the skills and the knowledge that I have now without the support of my team. I'm additionally grateful for all the families with whom I have worked and I've learned from each and every one of them. And finally, I'm immensely grateful to the support of my family. My husband, who could not be here tonight, my son, who is here tonight and is also my chauffeur, my daughter, who's home taking care of her family, you are my heart and my foundation. Thank you.